Is that Chris? Man, I never thought I'd see the day where we have a female Charleston White, bro. I kid y'all not. We never thought we'd see this day. Now, I ain't gonna lie to y'all. I'm letting y'all know right now this is just the beginning of something big. I'm telling y'all, just like how y'all blew Charleston White up, she is about to blow up more because I'm starting to see her face more and more. And the more people respond to her, the more blogs pick up on her, the bigger she gonna get. Man, what is good, YouTube? Y'all already know who it is, man. It's Lucky J here, y'all. Back up with another video. And we got a late, late, late night video to talk about. Half y'all probably not even gonna see this. This video ain't gonna do no views, but I do it just because I love doing YouTube. Nah, if my voice sound funny, y'all, I am kind of sick. I got like a sore throat real bad. Like it hurts when I swallow, no homo, anything. So y'all got to stick with me. I ain't gonna be able to talk too loud. Now, it seems like in today's classroom, y'all, we got Boosie and Rick Ross BM on the roster. Now, it seems like Boosie has some words to say to Rick Ross BM, you know, the one Tia Kemp, the same one that exposed the guy from the um, boss man D-Lo, making fun of him for having a shrimp. Pretty much, Boosie responded to her after she went off on Boosie on live out of nowhere and pretty much told him to stop speaking on Kodak Black, and Boosie wasn't feeling it. Now, we're going to talk about it, and I'm going to show y'all everything, but y'all know I don't want to make this video too long. Just hit that like button, bro, and smash that bell so that you know. You can be notified anytime I drop a video, bruh. And I can also keep y'all updated on this situation. Now, I'm going to give y'all time to hit that like button, smash that bell. Mm-hmm. Y'all boys and girls got me? All right, bet. Now, basically, what we got going on, as I said, y'all don't know, um, Rick Ross got a BM that goes by the name of Tia Kemp. That has been going crazy within the last couple months. You feel what I'm saying? After she did that Boss Man D-Lo video. Um, making a parody to his song. She been all over TikTok and then now she's starting to be seen more just on social media due to the fact of her rants on IG Live. Now, she ended up going a little viral and they blogs picked her up because she went on IG Live and I don't know what she was talking about, but she spoke on Boosie and this is what she had to say about him. Boosie, what's up with you, bro? I came over here to get your together, dog. You look too old to be beefing with these little boys, man. Every time I turn around, you got yak name in your mouth, somebody name in their mouth, in your mouth, bro. You do too much, dog. I'm a old ho your age, bro. Leave Yakky back alone, man. Nobody don't give a fuck about him making a song with no rainbow wing, man. Down here in Dade County, bro. Because y'all out here going to make songs with booty boys and get in their beds having parties with them. Dog love their bottles. Dog did what he had to do to feed his mother. The family, that rainbow wig, rainbow wig, at that, 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 that whooped in the gym by some inmates, convicted fellas. Hey man, boost, boosty boo. See, I fuck with you, dog. I thought you was real, cause you're a Scorpio, or whatever you think you is. I don't know, but you Torrance Hatchet, whatever the your name is, man. You the beeping with their mom and brother about you, money. Anybody can't even get along with their mama is so flat. And I got family in my family like that. You can't get along with one person that birth. What? I mean, you only get one mama. You can get a million stepmamas and daddies and peppies and cousins. And I don't even respect a nigga like that. I used to listen to all your. I'm coming now, dog. Stop here, man. Dog trying to get out of a bad spot. Let that boy get out of prison, bro. Just always going back and forth. When you was young, you done ten times, and since your you was at your career, you find every topic to get off on. Now it's my turn. You with Mr. O Zaza Wade. Hey, I ain't with that rainbow super, man. Man, we gonna leave that alone right there. Now, as y'all see, you know, she was all in the IG live with a teeth, veneers all in the camera. You feel what I'm saying? And she spoke on Boosie and said, you know, he always in somebody's business. Just said somebody Kodak and said, they ain't mad about him doing the song with a rap. Where that come from, I don't know, man. I'm telling y'all, she doing that because everybody going to pick up on it. And, you know, everybody ate up off of it. And they was like, oh, Boosie ain't going to send it to her because y'all don't know. I ain't going to lie. She pretty cutthroat. She said whatever on her mind and she don't bite her tongue. Now, I thought Boosie wouldn't respond, but Boosie went up and put up a tweet first. It said, lady, I said one thing about Kodak, and that was a minute ago. I've been let that ish go. Ever since then, he's been having my name in his mouth from interviews or songs. And I'm not trying to go say nothing that the other dude and never will. Don't try and make it look like I'm kicking someone because they're locked up. I know the pain. I would never, right? And then he went on on IG Live, and he had this to say. Man, I heard that crazy lady. I ain't fucking with that crazy lady. <laughs> that lady got time. I ain't fucking with that crazy lady. 
But I don't be bringing up no Kodak, bro. Kodak been bringing up my name, songs, interviews. I, I said what I said about that shit way long ago, and I let it go. I think what I said back in the game about him, that really affected people and got people still mad at me, but I ain't said nothing about no Kodak. I ain't trying to, I don't, she trying to make like I'm kicking it while, while he down or something. Hell nah, man. I never do that. I, I mean, I know that pain. I never do that, bro. I don't think about that dude. I don't wake up, you know. Yeah, I heard what she said about Charles and White. She right. I ain't saying nothing about no Charles. I ain't, I ain't gonna say nothing. I'm not gonna say nothing. That's been, I said that. I said I would go, you ain't gotta say it, but I said that. I'm not saying that to no, no Charles and White shit, no. Charles and White gonna put your in jail, boy. I'm not saying nothing about no Charles and White. Never. There's one egg I'm not trying to crack. Uh-uh. You better pick your battles wise. <laughs> Charles and White gonna call your P.O. Charles and White go, boy, you ain't ready to fuck with that. That's a whole different, hey, hell nah. That man ain't trying to kill me. That man ain't trying to do me nothing. I ain't got to say nothing. Uh-uh. No. That man ain't trying to do me nothing. And I ain't going to let y'all bug me up to say nothing about him. I say something about him, that's a threat. Now, as y'all see, Boosie said he ain't going back and forth with that crazy lady. And he responded like a gentleman because a lot of people, you know, y'all know how Boosie get. Boosie get to call everybody B words and everything that come with it. So he actually responded and said he ain't finna really like give her what she looking for. And he ain't finna get into it. And he said, you know, he fooled with Kodak. And also said that, you know, he didn't speak on Kodak after that one time and went on to say he not miss with Charles White because Charles White, the police, you feel what I'm saying? If you know, you know, man, uh, Charles White will shoot you. Charles White will pick on you, shoot you, and then call the police on you right after. Like, man, it's man different, bro. You feel me? But at the same time, I'm happy he responded that way. And I ain't going to lie. She looking for a come up. And she wanted to go viral, bro. And sadly, bro, she will be viral. And I'm telling y'all now, bro, she going to be bigger than what she is right now. Because her social media presence is crazy right now. Everything she do, it, 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 it goes on social media. It goes viral. So, like, it's crazy, bro. You feel what I'm saying? But I don't even know. I just really want to get y'all some content, bro. Maybe y'all care about this. You know, I have been real lazy and slack on my content a lot this year. But I promise y'all starting today, bro, this year going to be a whole different year. I promise y'all, like, if I'm lying, God can, yeah. Like, I'm telling y'all, just wait. This is only the beginning. I got big things in the future. It's just the beginning, bro. But uh, give me y'all thoughts and opinions about this. And let me know how y'all feel about this in the comment section. Let me know. Do y'all feel like Boosie was wrong? Do y'all feel like Big Teeth was wrong? Do y'all feel like, you feel what I'm saying, she going to come? Like, how y'all feel about the whole situation? Let me know what y'all think. It's your boy, look at Jay. Thank God for another day, man. Y'all be safe. I love y'all. Christ loves y'all so much more, man. Yeah, yeah, bro.